we know how we can relate an old and a new basis via an orthogonal tensor Q. Let us now look into an explicit example how we can find our Q. Furthermore, we will see that the elements of Q are related to the direction cosines, the cosines of the angles between the old and the new basis vectors. So we know uh, from a previous web lecture that EI prime equals Q times EI, that's defining the new basis, and as a consequence of that, you can express the EI primes uh, into the old basis EM via QMI. So EI prime equals QMI times EM, which implies that the columns of Q are the E1 prime in the old basis, E2 prime in the old basis, and E3 prime in the old basis. So now to take a look into an explicit example. Uh, we have our E1 and E2 are just normal basis factors, uh, and we are going to rotate them, and we will leave E3 where it is. So here we have E1 prime, we rotate over pi over 6 radians, and E2 prime also rotated over pi over 6 radians. So how do we find our, the matrix of our orthogonal tensor Q? So what we need is E1 prime and E2 prime and E3 prime expressed and the old basis vectors. Now for E3 prime that's easy, it's just E3. So the third column will be 0 times E1 plus 0 times E2 plus 1 times E3. So that's the third column. Now for the first and the second columns, we have to express E1 prime in E1 and E2. Now here we have our E1 prime. The angle over here is pi over 6. So we get uh, the cosine of pi over 6 times E1 plus the sine of pi over 6 times E2. That's for our E1 prime. And for our E2 prime, we get the minus sine of pi over 6 times E1 plus the cosine of pi over 6 times E2. So there we are. And how does the matrix look then? What about the first two columns? Well, for the E1 prime, we have the cosine of pi over 6 which is a half times square root of 3 times e1, plus a half times e2, plus 0 times e3. So there we have our first column. And for the second column, we have minus 1 half times e1, plus 1 half times square root of 3 times e2, plus 0 times e3. So there we have our second column. So this is how you can find the matrix of your orthogonal tensor Q. You just have to express your new basis vectors in terms of the odd ones. Now the elements of Q have some nice interpretation. If you take a look at the cosine of theta ij, where the theta ij is the angle between ei, the ith old basis factor, and the jth new one. So the cosine between ei and ej prime. So we know how to compute it. It's the inner product, ei inner product, ej prime divided by the length. And a length of course 1 because very few unit factors you so you get an EI and a product EJ prime. And now note that we have also, if we compute E n in a product EI prime, so we fiddle a bit with the indices, uh, because then we can nicely use this formula for EI prime over here, which is QMI EM. Then we can compute the inner product E n inner product EM gives me a delta MN. So this QMI times delta MN gives me a QNI. So EN inner product EI prime gives me QNI. So EI inner product EJ prime will give me a QIJ. So the QIJs are the uh, uh, direction cosines between EI and EJ prime. So take, for example, the element Q12. That's the cosine of the angle between E1, which is over here and E2 prime, which is over there. So that is this angle over here. So the cosine of this angle equals the Q12 element, which is minus 1 half. So the cosine of this that angle there equals minus 1 half. So this theta 1, 2 equals, the, equals 2 pi over 3. You can compute it, of course. So you have your uh, angle of 2 pi over 3, which indeed is correct if you look at the figure.